Welcome back to Real Life Answers. My name is Ben, and September is National Suicide Prevention Month. If you or someone you know is struggling with being in a dark place and thoughts of suicide, please call the number on this screen. If you or someone you know is in immediate danger of committing suicide, stop this video immediately and dial 911. Today we're going to use what some people would call a problematic psalm, and it's one that I struggled with for many years as to why it was in the Bible and exactly what it meant, and that's Psalm 88. We're going to use that psalm to bust some myths regarding spirituality and those who struggle with being in a dark place. Myth number one, those who struggle with depression are not following God like they should be or are not spiritual people at all. This psalm is written by Herman the Israelite. Now, if you were to study history, you would find that Herman was not only one of the worship leaders in the temple, he was the chief songwriter for the temple in Jerusalem. Yet Herman finds himself in this passage struggling with depression. He writes, O Lord God of my salvation, I cry out to you by day, I come to you at night. Now hear my prayer, listen to my cry, for my life is full of troubles and death draws near me. I am as good as dead, like a strong man with no strength left. They have left me among the dead, and I lie like a corpse in the grave. I am forgotten. Herman, obviously a very spiritual individual, somebody who spent most of his time in the presence of God and was well connected to God, struggled with feeling like he was so low he was about to die. So we see that depression does not mean that you are not spiritual or not connected to God. Myth number two, God is angry with those who are experiencing depression. This myth is why many people don't like Psalm 88. In fact, if they're like me, they kind of just glazed over it for years and wouldn't hardly look at it or preach on it. In fact, it's considered to be a problem passage by scholars because of the many things that Herman says in his depression about God. Let's take a look at some of those, first of all. Um, he starts off here and he says, You have driven my friends away by making me repulsive to them. I am in a trap with no way of escape. My eyes are blinded by my tears. Each day I beg for your help. I lift my hands for your mercy. Going on down a little further, he says, O oh Lord, I cry out to you. I will keep on pleading by day. O oh Lord, why do you reject me? Why do you turn your face from me? If you read the rest of Scripture, you know that these, some of these statements are absolutely not true of God. And the reason that... God doesn't strike him dead with lightning like many of us would expect. It's because God's a big God who cares about us, and he's big enough to handle how we feel about him. In fact, the book of Hebrews tells us that we have a mediator who sympathizes with our weakness, that was tempted at all points as we are, yet without sin. So if you're depressed today, if you're going through feelings that make you want to end your life, God is not angry with you. He wants to help you. He wants you to bring these things to Him. Myth number three, we are all alone with our feelings of depression and our thoughts of suicide. Now that we know God cares, we need to be like Herman. Because you see, when it came to his dark feelings, Herman did not allow his depression to drive him away from God, to curse God. Instead, Herman turns to God and he talks to God. And that is precisely what God wants to do. First Peter says we can cast all of our cares on Him because he cares for us. Myth number four, if I'm really talking to God like I'm supposed to be, he'll instantaneously pull me out of depression. This is also false. And the reason I can say this is because Herman's psalm does not end happy. This depression has no immediate resolution. In fact, in verse 18, he ends it with, you have taken away my companions and loved ones. Darkness is my closest friend. You see, sometimes God puts us in a dark period because he wants us to teach us about himself and about us, so he may not take us out instantly. But it's also important to realize that Herman's depression did eventually end. How do I know that? Because Herman writes many more songs after this. Some of them are quite great and, and quite lively and very joyous. So Herman did eventually get out of this. So while God may be teaching you something about himself right now, your depression will eventually end. Thank you for joining us today for this word of encouragement. Please share this across the internet to help promote suicide awareness. Also, if you have anything you would like to add to today's discussion, please put that in the comments below. And please be sure to look at the links in the description below.
There are links there that give information about how you can tell if someone might be suicidal. It also tells you how to talk to somebody about suicide. Please take a look at that. And finally, please join us again next Thursday at 2 p.m. for another video. God bless you and have a great day.